All right, guys. Well, in today's video, we get to uh, we get to settle a debate. I keep getting customers um, showing up, wanting a mini skid steer, wanting to run a mulcher, wanting to run a bush hog, wanting to run a trencher, and <clears throat> and I keep telling them all the same thing. So. But but they for some reason they keep thinking they can run those attachments on these the the cheaper two pump machines. Uh, I'm not going to say auction machines because there are many other two pump machines out there that are not auction machines that still won't do these things. So I'm just going to say, um, and it's not necessarily the pump uh, to do with the number of pumps. There's a lot of things that go into it, but for today's purposes. We're gonna use an auction machine that is just a, a double gear pump, your standard, traditional, what you're gonna see on 99% of these things. Yes, I know they make single pumps. You can change and they'll have higher flood data. I know these things, okay? But we're not talking about that. For today's purpose of this video, we're gonna take this auction machine with the 23 horsepower engine and a two pump, which is again, 99% of the ones on the market, that's what you're getting. And we're going to dig out that bush hog, stick it on there, go up the road here, and we're just gonna see what'll happen. Uh, by the way, it's freezing cold today. 20 degrees feels like six. This is rough, but let's see if this thing will fire up. Ooh. Acts like it wants to. In this machine's defense, it is super cold. I didn't want to get started either. Oh man. Is this frozen? Positive. Not a dead battery. Sometimes is all they need. Oh. Oh, bada bang, bada boom. If you watched our last uh, bush hog video, then you'll recognize the spot I'm at, just right down the road. This is actually what we bush hogged a couple months ago. Uh, the old bush hog hasn't been used since then, so I'm just going to give it a quick little look over. I never did uh, tighten these, but I was told in the comments before that they are actually supposed to be loose, so that's why I didn't tighten them. So I hope you guys uh, weren't lying to me. That was a little, it was a little tight. And then these two were a little loose. But uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think everything looks good. Let's, uh, let's 
fire it up real quick and uh, let's just see if the machine will even spin it. I'm sure it will. I'm just telling you, I hope this works. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this works because, shoot, I'm 30 minutes in getting this thing drug out, hooked up, uh, and I'm froze to death. So I hope it works. All right, I want to try and demonstrate this real quick. As you can see, uh, oh wow, that took a stick to the side. As you can see, I've cut these three little pads right here so far. Um, we'll talk about that in a second, but I want to demonstrate, I want to try and demonstrate uh, the problem that I, I found. Um, will this machine run a bush hog? I think it's clear. Yes, it'll it'll run it, it'll spin it. Um, yes, that, that yes, I think it's safe to say that. But should you buy a bush hog? Should you invest the money in a bush hog um, for this particular setup? I'm still not convinced. Uh, I mean, yeah, if, if you hook it up turn it on and you drive in a straight line very very slow this is the result you'll get um, you can see the little saplings quarter inch saplings are still here and i ran over them but it, it wouldn't cut them up so i feel like you know the whole point of a bush hog is to get rid of stuff like this if you're not getting rid of stuff like this then it's not going to get a lawnmower right um but anyways so to give you an idea of the way it's operated I'm going to try to demonstrate it, but I don't know how, how well it's, it's going to come out on video. But, so what happens is, is my left stick um, with the auxiliaries running, I have full motion. I can front to back and that left track will full motion. The problem is with the right stick. With the right stick, I have barely any movement at all. Um, the more I move the right stick, the slower it turns. But if I don't move the right stick completely one way, then it, then it won't go straight. It, it'll just do this. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate that. Um, but that's the issue I've seen. So yeah, but no, I did make it work. I went really, really slow and straight, and it cut. It just didn't cut the saplings, but it did cut. So you take that, you take with that information and do with it what you want. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me just try to show you.
Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little close up of uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. I mean, these saplings didn't cut didn't cut any of these. Um, I mean, just I don't know. I guess if you want to mow in circles, uh, like I was doing, things a beast. <laughs> it's kind of like a one wheel peel, you know. I mean, look, it cut it cut that pretty good. All right, so I think that's a pretty good example of of what um, your standard two pump, 23 horsepower machine will do with an auxiliary attachment. A bush hog specifically, uh, I think that was a pretty good demonstration. Um, I mean, I tried it wide open, slow. I mean, I, I tried to show you a little bit of all the movements to so you could see what worked, what didn't work, but it's pretty clear and obvious that with the auxiliary on, on this particular machine, the right stick has no front to back movement almost whatsoever. Um, again, you can go in a straight line if you want to go really, really slow. And you know what? At the end of the day, when you bush hog and mow, you, you go slow. So maybe that's acceptable to you. Um, but it's not going to cut quarter inch little saplings and stuff like that. It's going to leave them standing. So essentially, in my opinion, it's no better than a lawnmower um, on this particular machine. But you make your own judgment, make your own decision. You know, if you are, if this is good enough for you and you can live with the manipulating the controls to make it work, then go for it. I'm not telling you what to do. It's your money. Uh, you do what you want. I'm making the video just so you know what to expect before you go spend your money. That's all I'm trying to do. That's all a lot of my videos are about. It has nothing to do with my opinion matters over your opinion or your opinion matters over my opinion. I could care less about that. These videos that I make are to help people make decisions on purchases they may not necessarily need but they want and to help you make smart purchases. You know, know what to expect. If I'm a, you know, five grand is a lot of money to some people. It's a lot of money, period. But if you say, hey, you know, I want to go dump five grand on one of these machines, but I don't know if it'll do what I want it to do or not. Well, that's why I'm making these videos for you people to help you guys know what to expect with a $5,000 machine, with a $10,000 machine, with a $20,000 machine. That's the whole purpose of these videos. So if you like that type of stuff and you want to be informed, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe for me. I'd appreciate it. Uh, for all you guys that have been tagging along, thank you. Uh, it means a lot. Um, again, these are just informational videos. Don't take what I say to be the gospel. Don't, you know, just because I said it doesn't mean those are the facts and that's the only way it's gonna be. It's not, it's not what this is about. These are my opinions, but at the end of the day, despite my opinions, I'm showing you proof. So that is what it is. I can say what I want, but what you see is just, is how it performs. Um, going in circles, pretty effective. I mean, pretty effective. Honestly, I cut a lot more in a couple seconds of going in circles than I did uh, trying to go in straight lines. But we all know what's gonna happen if you start mowing in circles, two things going to tear the ground all to pieces which i did and you're going to throw tracks and that's not fun so anyways if you like seeing stuff like this hit the like and subscribe i got some more stuff planned uh super super cold today but i wanted to get this out there just because i had some free time on my hands but um that's gonna wrap this one up guys i appreciate it